Okay, we have our two another alternative method video. This one's from the MIT integration B 1991 problem 26. We have the integral of sine 6x cosine 2x dx. Okay, so I've already done this problem once using the angle difference formula. And what I want to do today is use a different method suggested by a dandap that we do this using the complex definition for sine and cosine. So we have these two definitions over here to the right. Both these are derived from Euler's formula. And basically what we'll do is we'll just use this to rearrange our integral and put it in this complex form. So what I can do is just get started with the integral and we'll just kind of transform everything. So for sine, so for sine six X, we have this definition of sine X. So all I need to do is change the input. So like we'll plug in wherever we have an X, we'll just plug in six X. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have here, this is gonna become EI six X minus E negative I six X and this is all over 2i. And then we'll do the same kind of thing for cosine 2x. We'll rewrite it using this definition, so this is gonna become ei 2x plus e minus i 2x all over two. But now the first thing I can do is, let's take this 2i times two, we can multiply those together, and when I rewrite this integral, I'll just bring this out front, so I can bring this out front of the integral as one over 4i, and then we'll just start distributing everything together and multiplying it out, so ei, so for EI 6X times EI 2X, we're gonna get EI 8X. And then for this middle term here, we're gonna get, and this will become E minus I 4X. Then for the outer terms, this is gonna become plus E I positive 4X. And then, and then for these end terms, this is gonna give me minus E minus I 8X DX. And now I can just go ahead and integrate. And just because we have i and all these exponents, that doesn't really bother us. These are just like any other constant term. So we can just so we can just do this like any constant. So I'll go ahead and integrate. So first we're gonna have we'll have one over four i in front of everything. For this first term, we're, for this first term, we're gonna have e minus i eight x. We need to bring out eight i in the denominator. Here we'll have minus e i minus four x. Bring a minus four i in the denominator here. Then we're gonna have plus e i 4x with 4i here, and then minus e minus i 8x, and we'll have a minus 8i in the denominator. Minus is gonna cancel with minus here, so that's gonna give me plus, and the same thing over here, so everything's gonna be positive. Now from here, let's just see if we can get some simplification to clean this up. Now notice we've got an i in the denominator everywhere, so what I'll do is I'll factor that i out of every single term here, but then we'll have i times i, that's gonna just give me minus one. So we can cancel that off and just kind of bring a minus sign over there. And then because we've got we've got eight, four, four, and eight, I think what I'll do is factor a four out in the denominator. So when I rewrite this, we'll have this as minus one over 16 in front. And then I wanna kind of group the common exponents. So I wanna bring, I wanna group ei eight x. I wanna group this one with this one and then group this one with this one. So we'll just rearrange it a little bit. So when I rewrite it here, we'll have e minus i8x plus e minus i8x. And now on these, we factored out a four, so I'm gonna end up with a two in the denominator here. And then with these terms, I'm just gonna switch the order because I want the positive one first because it's, we're trying to get it into the form. We're trying to get into the complex definition for cosine. So when I rewrite this, we're gonna have this as ei4x plus e minus i4x. And then we factored out the four, so we just have a one here right now. But I don't really want this to be a one, so what I'll do is I'll create a two. I don't wanna change it, so I'll just multiply by two in front here, so that we're just multiplying by one. But now going back to our complex definition that we looked at at the beginning of the video, this here is actually just cosine x with a with the input of eight x. So this is actually here just gonna be cosine eight x. And the same thing here, we have this two up front, but then all this, this is actually just gonna be cosine of four x. So putting this all together, we just have our final solution, minus one over 16, cosine eight x plus two, cosine four x plus c, and that's it. Okay, I don't know if it's faster doing it with the complex method, but one thing I like about it is you don't have to remember that formula. So this is something that you can, you still have to remember Euler's formula, but that's usually pretty easy to remember. So I do see some advantages to this method, and also it's pretty interesting. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.